welcome to today's activity. I am Miss Whitney. I am with Children's Services with Charlotte Mecklenburg Library. And today I'm going to be talking all about the history of Legos as well as we are going to make a fish out of Legos. Now I'm going to tell you all the bricks that you need in order to make our fish. Um, however, you do not need all of these bricks, you can actually substitute a lot of these bricks for things that you have. So there is going to be a picture of all the bricks that you need. You need two one by one bricks, two one by three slope inverted bricks, two studs, one two by three slope inverted, one two by two brick, one two by three brick, one two by two slope brick, and two two by one slope bricks. Now again, most of these you can substitute for different bricks as we make our fish. However, in order to make the fin shapes, you will need at least two inverted slope bricks. So go on ahead and gather those bricks and join me back here and we're going to talk about the history of Lego as well as build a fish. So today I thought we would play a little bit of Lego trivia. All the information I am using is from the book What is Lego by Jim O'Connor and it is from the Who is What is series. So let's get started. Blunt, Denmark is the home of the Lego toy company. How many Lego pieces are made in Blunt, Denmark every year? Is it A, 19 million, B, 19 billion, or C, 30 million? Are y'all ready for the answer? If you chose B, 19 billion, then you are correct. That is 19 with nine zeros behind it. That is a whole lot of Legos, y'all. Now, the Lego toy company actually started out by making wooden toys. So they didn't offer Legos, Lego bricks right off the bat. So what year were Lego bricks introduced to the public? Is it A, 1930? B, 1949, or C, 1958? Are y'all ready for the answer? If you chose C, 1958, you are correct. Now, one really kind of interesting and awesome thing is that due to how the bricks are made, the bricks from 1958 will still fit bricks that are made today, which I just think is really, really cool. So, what was the first brick ever made? Was it A, a 2x4, B, a 2x2, or C, a 2x3? All right, y'all ready for the answer? If you chose A, a 2x4, you are correct. All right, last trivia question. How many brick colors did Lego start out with? A, 4, B, 5, or C, six. Okay, are y'all ready for the answer? If you chose B, five, you are correct. Lego started out with just five colors, red, yellow, blue, white, and green. Today, they have over 60 colors. All right, if you wanna find out more about Lego's history, go on ahead and check out the book, What is Lego by Jim O'Connor. Now, the fish that we're going to be building today is from the Build It series by Jennifer Kameter. Now this series is completely available online via Hoopla. It has books for how to make dinosaurs, race cars, sea life creatures, and robots just to name a few. Now these books give the instructions in the same way that Lego gives instructions, meaning that it's all pictures and absolutely no words. The table of contents even just shows a model of what you're gonna be making along with the page number. And lastly, these, this series uses very common bricks. They use bricks from the classic set. So more than likely you have most of the bricks that this, these, this book series uses. All right, so now it's time to gather up some bricks and get to building this fish. Now, again, if you don't have the specific bricks that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that's okay. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to modify the pattern so that you can still make a really awesome fish. So with a little bit of creativity, you can make a fish out of whatever bricks you have available. 
So this is the fish I'm going to be showing you how to make today. The instructions for this model can be found in Build It Sea Life, which is available on Hoopla for checkout using your library card or your One Access ID, which is just your CMS student ID number. I'm also going to be building this fish as well so that you can see how to modify the um, instructions for this to create a fish even if you do not have the specific bricks available. So the bricks that this starts with is a two by three and a two by two. So you're gonna take the two by three and the two by two, and you are going to put them on top of each other like this. One side is going to be flat and the other side is gonna have a little bit of an opening. So again, we have a two by three and a two by two. And we're going to layer them on top of each other. One side's going to be flush and one side is going to have a little bit of an opening. The next Lego brick that you need per the instructions is a two by three inverted slope. Now, if you do not have a two by three inverted slope brick, you can also use two one by three inverted slopes. What I'm gonna show you with is a two by two inverted slope. You can also use two one by two inverted slopes. The biggest thing is that you need the inverted slopes. So using the longer inverted slope per the instructions in the book, we are gonna put where it tapers the most in that opening underneath the two by three. So you should have something that looks like this. If you are using the shorter inverted slope, you are gonna put where it tapers the most underneath that two by three, just like that. The next brick that you need is a two by one regular slope, a shorty um, slope. So, on our fish that follows the instructions, we are gonna take our one by two. You can also use a um, one by one if you have that instead. And we're gonna put that on top of the fin. Biggest thing that you need here is that it's flush here and tapered towards the body. I'm actually gonna show you how to use two one by ones with a slope in order to make that taper as well. For the shorty. Again, you can also use a two by one for this. So I'm gonna put that there. And as you can see, we have it tapered towards the body, but we also have this opening here. So I am going to use a two by one or a one by two and add that. You can also use two one by one bricks. But again, the biggest thing is that you have it flat here and it's sloping towards the body. So I'm going to put those aside and we're gonna work on the front portion of the fish. So for this, the instructions call for two one by three inverted slopes, but you can of course also use any of the other inverted slopes as well. This, for this um, particular fish, I'm gonna use a two, by, a two by two inverted slope as I throw it on the dining room table. Per the instructions, you will need two one by one bricks the instructions actually call for two one by one bricks that have this little side um, stud here. Of course, if you do not have that, that's fine. You can use the smooth ones. I'm gonna use the smooth ones for this particular example. So using a one by one brick and the one by three, I'm gonna just put that one by one brick on the very back of the inverted slope where it's flush on one side and the two studs on the slope are open. I'm gonna do that again. 
again flush here and the two sides where it is slopes are open. If you are using the shorter inverted slope, you can again use um, one by one bricks for this one. I'm gonna actually use a, a one by two brick. And again, the really important thing is that on one side it is flat and on the other side where it slopes, those are open. So the next piece that is called for in the instructions is actually a two by two sloped brick, which looks something like this, but of course all one color. I do not have a two by two sloped brick, so I'm gonna use a one by two. And we're gonna take the main body of the fish and add the sloped brick to the very end. The biggest thing is that you want the opening underneath that slope. And again, now if you also want to use a little bit longer of a slope, you can. The biggest thing is, again, you want that slope to be available underneath. You can also pull it back a little bit and have a fish shape more like that. So then we are going to take our, the bottom part of our mouth, because this is actually the bottom part of our mouth that we just, the fish's mouth, and we are going to attach that to the sloped part that's hanging over. And again, we're gonna just attach the, in this case, the one by one brick to the sloped Part. So you should have, if you're using the two by three or the one by three, you should have two. If you're using the little bit shorter of an inverted slope, you're gonna have one. I'm gonna take this off just because the instructions, the fish that I showed you originally had a little bit shorter. See me do a quick build. There we go. So you should have something that looks like this. Per the instructions, you're then gonna use a one by two regular slope and add that to the very, very front. So you get this nice taper. If you are using a shorter taper, you can use um, two one by ones or two or a one by two and add that and your fish is just gonna have a little bit flatter of a face. Now, if you used the studs that have a little bit of a nub here, you can leave them just like that or you can also add this piece as well. This is a stud and you can just Pop that on there and give it a little bit more of a three-dimension look. Thank you so much for joining me today as we learn about Legos and also build a fish out of Legos. I hope y'all had tons of fun. So do you want even more Lego build books? You do? Awesome! So there's been a Biblio Commons list created that has books about the Lego history, um, Lego build books, as well as books about people who enjoy building things. So that Biblio Commons list, all of the items on there, as well as the books used in today's program are all available via the library's digital collection. The library's digital collection can be checked out using your library card number or your One Access ID. Now your One Access ID is just your CMS student ID number. Please feel free to share with us your Lego fish using um, at CM Library or hashtag CM Library on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Follow us on social media to stay up to date on anything going on at the library. Also, visit us at cmlibrary.org or our library's digital branch for even more activities like this one. Thank you again for joining me, y'all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. <music>